Welcome back to Sorry Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. Today we're going to be talking about kind of the importance of having a livestock guardian dog. Now we really haven't had, you know, per se, uh, a livestock guardian dog that stayed with our uh, um, goats and chickens and things like that. But guys, today that's going to change. Uh, we got ourselves a livestock guardian dog. Now, uh, before we show you him, I just kind of want to probably explain a lot of things that probably um, people may be thinking of why'd you get another dog when you have two other dogs well guys we had to get rid of Samson and uh, Willow uh, we had to give them new homes and the reason for that is because they were kind of getting after our animals and it wasn't uh, like a one-time thing this is you know in the past it's just kind of we could never really prove if they were doing anything because we never actually saw them do it but just over time we started to see a uh, type of their behavior and we started to see them chase the animals and we just were not wanting that and uh, Samson he was the male he kept jumping over the fence and we just could never contain him uh, the only way we could hold them like keep them on our property and where we weren't gonna have any issues is keeping them on a chain and we did not want to do that we just don't think that's the way a dog should live so they went to good homes uh, very good homes we know exactly where they went and everything so we just kind of want to put that up front um on why we don't have the other two dogs and why we're getting uh this dog and we're very excited uh about just getting all these uh getting the dog um but it's very important that we've seen now with the livestock dog is it's gonna mitigate what happened to our chickens and that's one of the reasons why that happened is because that was actually right in the time when we got rid of the dogs just not even a week later that's when those raccoons came and pretty much wiped out our new flock and i've had that happen in the past when i first moved here i had chickens i had a dog but it kept running off and it was actually my parents and so they took it back a week later my chickens were gone so I've really come to realize now that a livestock guardian dog is a must here on the farm. And from now on, we will always have one. And uh, this dog we're gonna show you, he's gonna be in the goats from now on uh, whenever he starts getting bigger. But all that saying that, let's show you our new puppy. So y'all, this is Moses. Yep. 
Uh, this is our, our new puppy, and uh, he's going to be our new uh, livestock guardian dog. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you all can kind of tell, this dog came from Jason over at the Crockers. It was one of his pups. He was kind of saying that, uh, you know, he, he already uh, gave him out, and we got one of them. And uh, we just thought it would be really cool. Uh, once we kind of had that incident, like I said before, uh, we were like, we need a dog that, like, is in that pen 24 7 and that's its job mm -hmm. and we need that and like i said before we got uh we had to get rid of our other dogs because it didn't work out and we specifically wanted a pup yes in the past we've got dogs that were you know six to eight months old already and i'm not saying at that age they're not trainable but they're kind of set in their ways a little bit at that age yeah we don't have the expertise on training a dog out i of just that. know that like and with livestock guardian dogs you want to start them out as early as possible with your animals so we specifically wanted you know a, 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 pup. a puppy and that so, was the issue we had with our other dogs is we actually got them when they were kind of older so yeah and they uh, we didn't, didn't yeah, grow didn't, up around yeah. the animals. We so. didn't get to train them like we, we wanted to. But this guy, we're kinda, we kind of got him on a little bit of a schedule. We, we take him out um, in the mornings. We show him all the animals, mm -hmm. and he's out right now. We're not keeping him out in the uh, field you know, all day, all night, because he's, he's small. Yeah, I mean, and he's uh, by himself, so yeah. he, can't, he can't protect him. He doesn't have his mom here to protect him, so we're not just leaving him out there yeah, you know or, by himself he is up here by the house uh at night time and we're gonna start getting him you know out with the goats and the chickens during the yeah. day but we he's have still been pretty small so we have been putting him out there we're just not leaving him out there a hundred percent full time yeah um because like i said he's small you know a raccoon could uh take him out if it if we left him out there so until he gets bigger to where we feel he's comfortable and big enough to where he can defend himself um, from uh, you know certain predators then that's when he'll kind of stay out there but he's still got you know a long ways to go and us you know just kind of training them and and making them a good livestock guardian dog I know we're probably gonna get a lot of questions on about the puppy now the breed of puppy um, to be honest it's it's a it's a mutt we, don't, um, we really don't know we, we don't know, know. Bandit, uh, Jason said bandit is part German Shepherd right. and I, I believe Anatolian. Anatolian is what I think she is yeah so you know but the dad we're, yeah we have no it's, <laughs> we're, we're actually kind of he has two ideas of he's seen two dogs around there so we but we don't know what type of dogs those are but uh, he doesn't know which one actually kind of bred her so it'll be interesting to see yeah, what he looks like when he's full grown so Jason's very excited to see how yeah. this uh, pup turns out so on the breed, we're not exactly sure. You know, we just know the two parts. So um, with that, um, the name, a lot of y'all may ask, like, why'd you choose the name Moses? Well, Moses is, he was a chosen person from God in, in the Bible, back in the Old Testament. Uh, God chose Moses uh, to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Um, and Moses also in the Bible is called different types of names he has other names that he goes by and one of those names that he had and let me see if i can say it correct but it's avigdor is and it's hebrew but what that means is protector in hebrew it means protector and so we thought that would be that is just the a best name yeah <laughs> moses you know pretty much means protector um and so we thought that's that's perfect because he's a livestock guardian dog he's going to protect our animals here on the farm and we thought that was just going to that was just the best name to do and we really like the name moses and i think he and he goes by it real quick i mean we call he's him caught and he's on to things yeah. pretty quick you know we've been just doing basic little training yeah. things you know getting him to come to his name and he's a pretty quick learner so yeah i think he's going to do pretty good yeah, we hope he does pretty good, and sometime, you know, later down the line, we'll get him a get him a friend so he can kind of train up later too. Yeah. But right now, he's just a little pup, and we're very excited. Yeah, a uh, lot of you guys were wanting us. Yeah. Get, get a livestock dog. Yeah. Get a livestock dog. <laughs> yeah. So some of y'all got it down pretty good, and I think a couple of y'all said we need to get a dog from Jason. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we had this planned a, a little bit ago before. Uh, that so we had this in the works, but we had to keep it from y'all to yep. make it expenseful. 
Suspenseful. Um, suspenseful, yeah. <laughs> there you go. But, uh, guys, yeah, we just wanted to uh, show you Moses. You're going to probably see him a lot because we're going to have to do a lot of training with him. And uh, so he's going to be part of the farm now. Um, but if you really like this video, uh, hit the like button, of course. If you're not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe. Uh, you got any questions or if you got any tips about you know livestock livestock guardian dogs uh, just put them down in there if you have real you know real world experience with them you got any tips for us we'd really appreciate it but y'all take care and god bless god bless say bye to the people